Do you want to know how to make a jigsaw puzzle using your Cricut machine and some cereal boxes? If this is something you're interested in, make sure you stay tuned and watch this full tutorial on how I made this jigsaw puzzle using my Cricut machine. So on Cricut Design Space, you're going to use the search to find your template. So this is only available for Cricut Access. However, you can buy the template straight from Cricut Design Space if you don't have Cricut Access. So you just type in puzzle template. And there are a few you can choose from. So you can go through the ones in the images, any of these puzzle templates. The one I like to use is this one here. So it's Puzzle Template by Michelle Baker, this one right here. <clears throat> so you just click on it and you can see this has different templates. So you can have a 12 piece puzzle, a 20 piece and a 30 piece. So depending on who you're making it for, you can make the pieces suitable for that person. I'm like, like if it's just a very small child, you can go with 12 piece. If it's like an adult or older child, you can go with 30 piece. And then when you're on here, select edit a copy this will bring up a new screen and here you've got your template so the different boxes I'm just make my screen a bit smaller so you can see what I'm working with so here are the different boxes for the templates where you're going to get your images inside so let me just move this template down because I'm probably going to go with the 30 pieces one I like the one with lots of pieces that's the size that your image should be um, the rest of them, I'm just going to delete them because I'm not going to be using these templates. So I'm just going to delete all of these. If you're using that size, you can keep them. And then I'm going to go onto Canva, but my image is going to be 11 by 13.16. So this is what the size of your image dimensions you'll do on Canva. So this is my template page that I'm going to put the design. The first thing I'll start off with is the picture. So just how you upload a picture, you can use your phone to upload it. You can even do this on your phone if you don't want to do it on a laptop. So upload the picture you want to do. Um, my daughter said I should do one with me and her. So I was like, okay, that's fine. So um, put your picture on. Some of these features you can only do with Canva Pro. So like removing the background, I think that's a Canva Pro feature. I'm not 100% sure. Let me know if I'm not correct. So I'm going to edit this photo. And I'm going to remove the background to make it look a bit cleaner. So yeah, the background remover is Canva Pro. So you can use other websites to remove the background if you want to, or you can make your own image. You don't have to use this image and use the background remover tool. So I'm just going to remove the background like this and now you can see it's nice and clear and what i like to do as well i like to duplicate the image and then set another one on the whole background so this is going to be at the front and this one at the back so i'm just going to move this one off a bit so i'm going to put this one at the back just going to size this image here like this and I'm going to change the transparency. So I'm going to bring the transparency all the way down. So it's just like a little outline at the back, like that. And then I'm going to bring this one back in. Don't pull it too close to the edge because sometimes it can get cut off in Cricut Design Space. So about here is fine. Then I'm going to add my text. So whatever text I want to add. So let's go to text here. I, like, I love this glow text. I'm going to go with this glow text. I'm just probably going to put I love you. So here's my text and I'm just going to change that to I love you. And then just put the text wherever you need to put it. I'm just putting that over here. And then you can add some more text. If you want to add something else, you can add some writing or whatever you want to do to make it easier to do the puzzle so i've added i love you there maybe you can even add a heart so you can go to elements 
this is Canva Pro I'm using, but you can do it with the free features as well. So let's get a heart. So you just type in a heart and then we go to graphics. Oh, this one's cute. So let's put in this heart down here on the side. You can see my image isn't filled out properly. So I'm going to make sure it's filled out. So just about editing it and making sure everything is aligned. I'm going to make my image even bigger. So I love you. Let's just maybe put these hearts here. And like whatever else you want to add to it, you can just add to it, design and just freestyle as much as possible. If you want to, anything you want to like, let's go to edit photo. There's so many different edits you can do. You can change the filters a bit. If you want to put on a different effect, if you want to do autofocus. So let's look at the filters. If you want to change anything, if you want to make it more vivid, softer look. I think I'm going to keep it as it is. And then I love you. I think that's fine. Maybe just crop out my the bottom bit a bit here. Bring this down. See if I can make this slightly bigger. So you just keep on playing around with it until you're happy with how it looks. And then, but what I like to do is not keep too much on the edge, just in case there's any um, inconsistencies when you cut with your Cricut machine. So that looks great to me. Once you're happy with how it looks, you go to share and then download. And we want to download, download this as a PNG. So just download as a PNG and it will download to the Cricut Design, to not Cricut Design Space, sorry, to your computer. I love you. And there we go. I love you PNG, which is downloaded. So I can go to Cricut Design Space now. I've had have my template here and I can upload. And from here, I can upload my image. I can go to browse and then find that image here, which is I love you. I always use complex. I, I don't know if you have to, but I always use complex. Continue and then apply and continue. We're going to be using a print then cut image. So I select print then cut and then upload. And then now your image is here ready to be uploaded. I just select it and then go to add to canvas. So once it adds to canvas, you can see it's a lot bigger than my image here. You can either size it or you can put the dimensions that you want here. But because we measured at those dimensions, it should, it should fit. So let me just put this as 11. And then press enter. It's about 13.1, but you can see it pretty much fits in there, which is great. So that's all we need. We just need this image and this will go on top of my sticker like this. So this is the main part on Cricut Design Space. So I don't need this square anymore. I can delete the square. I just make sure my image is the right size. Make sure my image is the right size over the puzzle. And that's perfect. As long as your image is the right size over the puzzle, your image will come out correct. So I'm just going to delete this because I don't want to include this in my Cricut Design Space cutting. Sometimes you do get an error code here. I've noticed it does happen sometimes with Canva images. Maybe because I use my image. It just says this is a low resolution. The image may print poorly. For best results, make it smaller or use a new image with high resolution. I'll show you how it prints out. For me, there isn't any issue with it. We can see we've got a print then cut and then we've got basic cut. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do this. So I print this one off first, so I'll go to make it. And there we can see our image on here. If this is too small, you can make your sticker a bit bigger. So I'm going to show you how you can make it bigger because this is quite small imagine this is a4 this is going to be half of a4 so it's like an a5 sheet but i want to make my sticker much bigger so i'm going to show you how you do that so i'm going to go to cancel and what you need to do you need to put your these together 
make sure you select both of them so we're going to change the size of both of them so you can see i've selected both in my layers i've selected the puzzle and i've selected the photo if you do if you make a mistake and only select one of them this is going to mess up your whole project so make sure you select both of them and then you're going to just drag it both of them together to the size that you want so i'm going to do it maybe about 16 by 21 if you have an a3 printer you can make it even bigger but i know with cricut design space it's about 17 by 23 maximum that i can do and yeah that looks good always just make sure you know they are aligned they're um, good to go so now i can make it and you'll see my image is a lot bigger so there you go it takes up a lot more space on the a4 and i'm going to do this as a print then cut then just check your paper size if you're using a3 paper change it to a3 so whatever paper you're using just make sure you change it here i'm using this size paper we're not going to print it on paper I keep on saying paper we're going to print it onto sticker paper this is the crucial part you must print it onto sticker paper or printable vinyl so i'm using sticker paper i'm going to show you the materials that i'm using um, afterwards go to continue and then center printer so i will not add bleed for mine it doesn't need a bleed for this and then go to print Turn on system dialog always. So system dialog brings up this um, box. If you're using glossy sticker paper, for example, change your photo paper to glossy. I'm just using plain um, matte sticker paper. So um, print quality is in draft. I like to do standard. You can do it as high as well, but I'm just going to do standard. I've got a rear tray on my printer, so I'm going to make sure that goes into rear tray. Then I'm going to print the sticker paper out. I'm using a Canon TS7450 if anyone was interested. So this is the sticker paper I used. Um, it's from HTV Run, printable vinyl sticker paper, the matte one. I just put it straight into my printer and printed out. There's the printout, which you see, it looks fine. Um, the resolution is good. What I like to do now is laminate it. So I'm using this laminate from TechWrap. I will link all everything I've used in the description. So if you do want to get it, this is it is um, laminate sheets. There are 14 pieces in there. I'll show you what they look like. So it's like a holographic. They've got different ones in there, different types of holographic styles. You can just use, let me put this up a bit so you can see what I'm doing. You can just use it like this. You don't have to do this step, okay? This is just an additional step that I do. So what I get, I get my little tool here and I'm going to basically cover this with my laminate. So I'm going to peel it off. I'll show you how I cover it with my laminate to avoid any bubbles. So once I've peeled off my laminate, you can see it there. Um, that nice little glistening it's beautiful so when you put it on your picture it gives it that extra um niceness so i'm just going to pull it down here like this i'm going to layer it oops you can't see what i'm doing on the corner first i think this is the best way i do it to avoid any bubbles so i put it down there and then i use my squeegee tool to lift up this side and then I pull this and as I pull it, there's so many different ways to do this. But as I pull it, I just kind of flatten it out bit by bit just to make sure there are no bumps. So you can see it already, it's looking beautiful. It can be a bit tricky, but um, afterwards it kind of just goes by itself. You can just just make sure take your time just make sure every part is flat that's perfect now box i actually use a cereal box so my daughter has now been collecting all our cereal boxes so we can make loads of puzzles this is crave I'm not a fan of this cereal, but she loves it. So just cut out the box. 
So now I've cut my cardboard or my cereal box. I then get my laminated sticker paper. Remember this is laminated and you can see the laminate on it. It makes it nice and shiny and it makes it waterproof as well. So if it does get wet, it will be fine um, because it's waterproof on the front only. So this is sticker paper. So I'm just going to peel it off. Or well, actually, this is not sticker paper. It's printable vinyl sticker paper. So it's um actually vinyl. So I'm going to stick this pretty much in the middle. You see like where my black lines are. I've peeled off a corner. This is what I always do to make sure it's nice and flat. So just stick down that corner. And then I pull out the bottom and smooth it down. This just ensures that it's flat. We don't want any bumps in there. So nice and flat. This one's a bit easier to do than the laminate. It doesn't matter if it's bent. It's fine. Then the next thing I do, I cut the top. Just here. So I only cut the top and I cut the side, this side here, so the side that is on, on that side, because when it goes onto the mat, it just makes it a whole lot easier. Okay, in a standard grip mat. This mat is from HTV Run. I love their their mats. The stickiness the stickiness lasts for ages. Your print then cut. You do not have to cut it out because we've already cut it with our scissors. If you want to cut it out, you can, but always make sure you click on this one now. Now we want to cut out our jigsaw puzzle, and this is the setting I use light chipboard setting okay and i'll show you how to get that setting to use i go to browse all materials and because i know it's quite thick what i used last time is the chipboard setting so here light chipboard because it is quite thick remember i've got my laminate i've got my cereal box i've got my sticker paper so i need to make sure it cuts through properly and i say done here it always says move star wheels all the way to the right. When cut is complete, return, return star wheels. I'll show you what the star wheels are. Star wheels. So you need to move them. They can actually move. Very hard to move. But yes, you can see they can actually they can actually move. So make sure your star wheels, there's some on this side as well. I've moved them all the way to the side just to make sure nothing gets caught on there. Then I load in my Cricut machine. On my basic car, I go to edit. And I just want to move this slightly. I want it to be lined up with one of these lines so I know exactly where I'm going to pull it. So usually I pull it here. As you can see, it's like in the corner. Because sometimes when you put it too close here, you can't put it right at the corner, this corner. So I put it exactly at this corner so I know where my puzzle is going to start and where it's going to end. I just line it up to the 2.5 centimeter line. Just like that. And then I replicate that on my Cricut mat. What I've done on that one was this line here and this line. So I just put it there, make sure it's lined up as accurate as possible. It's looking a bit bent. Just make sure it's lined up. Make sure you press it down so it should look like this. I'm lined up on that side. Then now the cricket will go ahead and cut it twice. You can see it's all cut out, and that's why you have to line it up perfectly so it can cut it out. And so it doesn't matter if you, you can see like my cutting isn't very straight. But a cricket will cut it out straight. How I like to take it off is turn it upside down 
and then kind of fold my paper my board to fold my mat round this way make sure none of them bend i like to keep them flat just keep on bending your mat remember your mat cannot break it's very flexible just bend it all the way and then take off the last bit and just pop the puzzle pieces out and just take off this part there we go so everything's off the mat now it's time to pop out the puzzle pieces and there we go so let's have a go at putting it together i'm not very good at puzzles but you know let's give it a try so i can see this piece that's my mouth like, i'm no good at puzzles at all and think i made this 